Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Moya. I hope you're well. I am so excited for today's video because I am filming a thrift flip. I've been trying to make more of a conscious effort to be more sustainable with my choices in fashion and one of the best ways to do that is by actually just upcycling the old clothes which you already own. So at the start of quarantine I did this huge closet clear out. I'm not American. I did this huge wardrobe clear out and I found a bunch of things which I know I'm not going to wear anymore but either their fabrics are really nice or they just have the potential to be turned into something cute. So that is what I'm going to be attempting to do today. Just a little disclaimer, my sewing skills are next to non-existent. Whenever I was eight I used to do those like cross stitch embroidery so I don't know if that counts. However, I'm going to be attempting to use my mum's sewing machine today. She kind of showed me how to like switch it on so that's gonna be interesting but I believe that my creative concepts are really strong and will carry me through this and hopefully by the end of it we will have some cute clothes so the first item which I'm going to attempt to upcycle is this old white shirt which I find I actually bought this whilst I was teaching in China because I had no clothes which were appropriate for the classroom so I had to buy some white shirts and this one served its purpose but it's obviously not really my style anymore however the fabric is this really nice like cotton linen blend and I feel like it would work really well for a flowy summer crop top so I'm going to try and make a square neck top with like tie sleeves there tie straps I'm gonna make a square neck top with tie straps and it also already has these tie detailing on the sleeves so I'm just going to attempt to unpick this and use this for the tie bits at the shoulders. See, I really thought this through. I think this one could actually turn out quite cute. So guys, here we have my very amateur design for my new top. It is basically three panels for the front and the back and then one long panel for the inside, which is just to make the attaching of the straps more seamless. So it's definitely optional if you wanna save time. I'm gonna keep it easy and use a button fastening in the back so it's kind of nice and flowy and I don't have to like add a zip or anything too complicated because that is way out of my range. I'm just cutting off the strings which I'll keep for the shoulder straps later and then cutting out the panels from the main piece of fabric. I vaguely measured my chest leaving some allowance for seams so it'll fit properly and then I also made sure to measure the length of the panel so I could get the desired crop that I wanted. Basically the whole shirt is just one large rectangle wrapped around my body with straps but I promise it turns out pretty cute. So once you've cut everything out you should be left with like one large panel and two slightly smaller ones which we can now start sewing together. So guys welcome to my mother's sewing corner. Whenever I'm at uni my mom usually works in here so she is hiding this corner of my room with all her sewing essentials and her sewing machine which I'm going to attempt to use today. In the past whenever I've been altering clothes I usually just hand sew so hand sew so so I usually just hand sew so this is going to be interesting. I need to put the thread in the needle. This is a tiny hole. How is this gonna fit? Bye! I pinned the panels together so they wouldn't slip about in the sewing machine and got to it. Guys, I literally had to sew and unpick these straight lines at least three times because it honestly took me ages to get the hang of it and the machine kept like, I don't know, we were just like not friends at that point, but we got there in the end. I used an iron to make the hems of the shirt so everything was neat and then sewed them down. And honestly, once I got the hang of it, the sewing machine is revolutionary. Like, it made everything so quick and neat, and now I'm like super excited to make all my own clothes. I don't know, I'm obsessed. I then created the last long panel, which was going to sandwich the straps into the shirt. My mum recommended this. At first, I didn't really know why, but actually, it made the seams look so much neater and professional, so thank you, mama. And then lastly, I sewed in the straps in between the two pieces of fabric and added a button and a loop on the back to make it easy to take on and off. And et voila, my new top was complete. Considering this is the first piece of clothing I've ever made, I am so proud. Guys, I made that. It's my own design and I think it turned out so cute. I love the square neckline and the shoulder straps are giving me like chic, milkmaid, boho, minimal bitch on holiday and I just can't wait to wear this in the summer. It turned out into something that I would actually wear and probably buy so I'm very happy with that. Next I'm going to try to do a really simple tie-dye on this old black vest which was literally from Tesco. It is so old. I've seen tie-dye everywhere at the minute. I've never tried it but I think it would be a really fun and easy thing to do during quarantine 
I'm going to attempt to do a bleach tie dye so I don't actually have to get any colored dyes. From what I've seen, it gives off this really cool kind of like black brown design. Anyway, I feel like a tie dye vest would just be something that I would wear a lot. This one should be really easy and I'll probably crop it as well just to give it more of a flattering fit on me. So what you'll need for the bleach tie dye is obviously the piece of clothing for dyeing. I recommend something dark because that is what bleach does. It makes things lighter. And then you'll need your bleach and gloves to protect your hands, a bucket, rubber bands and a spray bottle if you have one. So I was genuinely so surprised at how easy and quick this process was. Basically all you have to do is wet the piece of clothing which you're dyeing, make sure it's nice and damp and then kind of scrunch it all up into a ball. I know there's like techniques to create patterns but this one worked really well for me. And then I secured the ball with three elastic bands. In the spray bottle I mixed one part bleach and one part water and then just started to spray different sections of my vest. I kind of did like alternating ones in the sections I made if you can kind of make that out and then made sure to flip it over and do the rest. I waited for about five to ten minutes it kind of depends how strong you want the color to be but make sure not to leave it for longer than ten minutes because the bleach is gonna like wear down the fabric and then all you have to do is rinse that out thoroughly or put it in the wash and leave it to dry. I think the colors turned out so cute on this and just to finish it off I actually cropped it I just put in a pin to where I wanted it to fall and cut off the bottom. I am so happy with how this turned out. I actually used the leftover fabric as a headband for you know some matchy matchy vibes but doesn't this look like something from Urban Outfitters? It is so cute and it was actually so easy. I'm sure you have everything you need at home already so would definitely recommend trying. I feel like this one is going to be a bit of a challenge. It is conceptually in my head there but I don't know how well it is going to be executed. I've seen these gorgeous kind of flowy, minimal, backless crop tops going around on Instagram, which I absolutely love. However, there is so little fabric that I would feel like I was cheated on for purchasing one. And they're either being sold by like really expensive brands or fast fashion brands, which I don't want to support. So I'm going to attempt to make my own. I have this old kind of peasant style top. Do you remember whenever this was like in, like looking like a peasant, like a medieval peasant? However, I think the fabric will be perfect from what I've seen online and it already has these like pre-made strings which I can use for like the tie back. I might have to get my mom to help me with this one because honestly, I don't really know what I'm gonna do, but I think I'm gonna have to add some elastic to make the ruching at the front and the back and then sew some kind of like the sew the straps in like a diagonal manner. Hopefully this one turns out super cute, but we will see. So for this design, it's basically one rectangle piece of fabric, lol, very scandalous, though you'll need two of the same rectangle in order to double layer it so you can put the elastic through. And then basically with the sewing machine, I'm going to create four lines, so two channels where I can insert the elastic to make it nice and ruched, ruched, ruched? I think ruched. I also had to create little loops at the bottom in order to cross the strings over my back so it would stay on. I know this sounds kind of complicated but it's actually not and it was definitely easier than the first top that I made. Firstly I took out the string from the top and saved it for later and then cut out the rectangle panel from the bottom of my shirt. I actually left an extra piece of fabric on the top so it would kind of like flop over but you don't really have to do that. Basically, since the elastic is going to ruche the fabric together, you're going to want to make the rectangle a bit bigger than the final product, otherwise it won't cover your whole front, and that would just be a lot of side boob. I actually kept the initial side seams in the top, so it was already double layered, and then I just started to sew in my channels. Since I kind of had the hang of the sewing machine at this point, these are actually super easy to create, and then you can just put in your elastic. So the length of the elastic you use is actually how long the final product is gonna be, so make sure you measure it properly and and leave some allowance for seams. And then to feed it into the top, you just have to make two holes on either side and then use a safety pin to kind of like shimmy it through. And then once you kind of shimmy most of it through, you can secure it on one side to make sure the elastic doesn't like fall off on the other side and then you have to do the whole tedious process again. Speaking from experience, I had to do the elastic bits like three times. Okay, update. I finished the front panel, which is basically the whole top and it's barely covering my boots, but you know, fashion. I love the ruching. I think I did a really good job on that. So what I have to do now is trim the kind of flappy bit and then hem it and then the real struggle is going to be figuring out how to like tie it up in the back. We don't have much string to play with but we're gonna have to make do. I'm thinking of like a shoulder strap here and then like a cross back. Hopefully I'll have enough for the other side otherwise it's gonna be very scandalous but I'm happy with it so far, so 
let's see how the rest goes. For the finishing touches, I just hem the floppy bit just to make everything neat. You don't really have to do it, but it kind of looks better and attach the strings. I had to create little loops on either side of the bottom bit in order to like cross the string over and have it tie properly but it actually made a really nice cross design in the back and I think it turned out really cute. Guys I am so happy with this top. It turned out basically so similar to the design I was going for. Obviously it is not for everyone. My mum was vaguely very unimpressed by the lack of coverage but I have no boobs so in my opinion this is still pretty tasteful. You know business in the front, party in the back and I love backless tops. I think they're really flattering on and this one actually shows off my little tattoo which I love. So one of the tops which I based this design off was retailing for like $150 and this took me about three hours and I use an old shirt. We love sustainable upcycling. So guys that is all I have for today's video. I really hope you liked it and maybe it will inspire you to thrift flip some of the clothes you have at home. I actually have a few more items which I'm hoping to upcycle so if you do like this give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments and hopefully I can do some more. But in the meantime thank you so much for watching sending my love out to you a virtual hug and yeah have a lovely one guys I'll see you next time